So my name is uh, Glenn Stripsteen and I'm a, a postdoc at the University of Leuven in uh, Bruges campus in uh, Belgium. We are in Oostrover, uh, next to the harbour of Ostend in Belgium. And right behind me we have the, a really cool project. It's called the Dune in front of a dike project. And uh, the reason why we installed this project is because we have lots of uh, sand nuance on top of the seawall. Before the dune was created, um, bulldozers came to the beach and they were uh, once in a while, especially in the, um, in the winter period, they were moving sand from in front of the seawall towards the intertidal area. And they had to do that once in a while and that just lot of, takes a lot of time and effort. And that's why we created this nature-based solution because we want to keep the sand on the beach. And we, we planted uh, marram grass on top of the upper beach and we have done that by using uh, uh, different densities of plants but also different distributions. When the vegetation was planted, um, we predefined like uh, 12 transects and on each transect we have 11 points that we want to measure and uh, at each point we measure the elevation and based on the elevation we can see in each transect how the dune is growing but we can also um, we can also determine uh, volume changes, so we can uh, know how fast the dune is growing in time. Uh, after two years, that we see that vegetation is growing more to the landward side, but also towards the sea. So that's very positive to see, that uh, nature is evolving quite well. So with this project, we are able again to have a better connection uh, with the ocean, because we are using nature in order to protect us against future flood events.